Okay, welcome all. Uh, today is a very special day. Like every time after the results are released, uh, we have one VIP guest with us. This time we are having uh, Dr. Uh, Praveen Manimaran, who has scored AML rank 6 in this INA SS meet. Welcome, Dr. Praveen Manimaran. Uh, good evening, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah, okay. So, first of all, I'll introduce myself. I'm Dr. Sucha. I'm an ex alumni of PJ. I did my pediatrics and neonatology there and currently a faculty in Marrow. So, we would want to know about our superstar, Dr. Praveen Manimaran. Can you tell anything about you? Uh, okay, ma'am. Uh... Uh, myself, Dr. Uh, uh, Praveen, and I have uh, completed my undergraduation from Tanjore Medical College, and currently I am doing my post graduation uh, in uh, Jipar. Uh, I am about to complete my course in uh, December 31st. I am currently in my uh, residency, ma'am. So you are going to start your next year residency uh, in the uh, very soon, also. Ah, uh, yes, ma'am. Okay, so Praveen, neonatology was your uh, 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 it was your core interest. Ah, yes, ma'am. Like uh, uh, during my uh, residency time, I had exposure of about uh, six months in uh, uh, neonatology here. So uh, during my uh, second year, I uh, developed uh, uh, interest over uh, neonatology. And during my uh, third year, uh, uh, again, I loved neonatology. So I wanted to pursue the same. Okay. So uh, first of all, a very many congratulations. It's a big achievement of the thousands of people who are aspiring for it. Getting a single digit rank is a big, big, big feat. And that too, even before you have completed your postgraduate residency, getting a rank is like uh, a dream come true. Now, your parents should also be very proud of you. Now, um, we'll start with the basics. Can you tell us how the exam structure, the theory exam structure was? Uh, okay, ma'am. So the theory exam structure was uh, 80 MCQs and uh, uh, for this uh, 80 MCQs about uh, some 60 percentage of this uh, MCQs came from uh, neonatology and uh, uh, remaining around some 40 percentage came from uh, all pediatrics. So uh, most of the uh, MCQs are like uh, from uh, conceptual uh, uh, based questions like uh, there was uh, not like a one liner questions mostly it will be like uh, they will give some three four statements about uh, digits and uh, we have to find uh, which among these statements are true and uh, uh, questions like assertion relation match the following uh, different types of questions that there in that uh, uh, theory part and uh, uh, after theory we had an interview session uh, via online from aims uh, which was for 20 marks and in that interview session we had uh, uh, two sessions a morning session in which uh, uh, from the neonatology department, we have been given uh, uh, eight OSCE uh, sessions. So eight, eight OSCEs we attended from neonatology. And in afternoon session, uh, uh, interview from the allied pediatric uh, subspecialties like pediatric nephrology, hematology, pediatric pulmonology, and biostatistics. These were the afternoon sessions. Okay, thank you, Dr. Praveen. One question I keep asking candidates is that, there is a common belief like uh, in neonatology when it comes to uh, the uh, seeing uh, common entrance test, the questions are mainly taken from Nelson. When it comes to INASS, it is usually uh, Clohati and the AIMS protocol which is followed. Uh, did you feel that when you were answering the questions that these questions have been directly taken from the above mentioned textbooks? or the questions were framed based on recent research papers or uh, the clinical teaching had a higher uh, value when the questions were uh, browsed through what did you feel um, yes ma'am uh, so i felt like uh, around uh, maybe among among the neonatology questions around some 70 to 80 percentage came from standard textbooks like uh, aims protocol recent edition and Clohati. Uh, and the remaining questions were uh, what we are seeing uh, clinically in our routine day-to-day uh, -day practice, like how to approach an extended spectrum uh, beta lactamase uh, uh, infection. And a uh, few questions were from uh, social pediatrics also. They asked about uh, uh, mother's absolute affection health program, and they asked about the national health policy uh, goals uh, for neonatal mortality uh, in the upcoming years. So there were questions from uh, uh, recent research uh, clinical day-to-day -day scenarios, social pediatrics, as well as uh, a major chunk came from the standard textbooks. Uh, so the, uh, the question is more oriented towards an Indian scenario or uh, like a Western, the international data was given more significance? Uh, Indian scenario was given more significant, ma'am. All the even health programs, all the goals, uh, everything, uh, uh, it was oriented towards uh, uh, Indian scenario only. 
Okay. Uh, uh, what weightage was given for statistics question? Uh, statistics around uh, three to four questions came from uh, statistics, ma'am. They asked about uh, uh, funnel plot uh, and few other questions came. Some three to four questions came from statistics, ma'am. Okay, so of the 80 questions, three to four questions were from, uh, okay. And yes. uh, what was the weightage for neonatal resuscitation program? Uh, earlier, uh, uh, at least 10% of questions used to be that. Was it the same this year also? Uh, I felt uh, neonatal resuscitation, uh, they asked about the golden hour management uh, uh, of uh, neonates in the first one hour. Uh, that Except for that one question, I didn't feel they stressed much upon the neonatal resuscitation part this time. Okay. And uh, regarding the practical exam part of it, when you were assess assessing the Viva voice, again, uh, can you tell us how the questions, there were eight questions you said, how the questions were distributed, like uh, what topics was it more towards practical neonatology, x-rays, radiology, or imaging, or what were they focused towards? The eight OSCE stations were uh, very much practically oriented, ma'am. Uh, first OSCE was around about uh, uh, maternal risk factors they gave, and uh, uh, for this, uh, mother, the newborn has been delivered and how will you approach? What investigations will you do? How to proceed with the newborn? It is not like one-liner answer. We have to write a descriptive uh, answer for uh, many sentences. It was like that. And they have given some uh, newborn reflexes demonstration and they asked about the uh, neonatal uh, reflexes. And for the morning session also, they gave a, a data about uh, uh, RCT and they asked us to calculate the sensitivity, specificity, relative risk, number related to treat. So statistics was given importance in the interview session also. And they have uh, social pediatrics was also given importance in the uh, interview. Two, was, two ASCII scenarios are based on the social pediatrics. One was about the home-based uh, newborn care by Asha worker. And the another one was uh, RPSK uh, program related uh, question. So the scenarios were like uh, uh, more practical rather than uh, uh, theoretical. And it was not like a one-liner answer. Uh, we have to assess the scenario and we have to tell next to what will we uh, do in that scenario. Nice. Okay. Um, so uh, can you tell us, because you are just come about to complete your residency. So uh, how did you prepare for this entrance exam? It was mainly your final exam preparation which helped in it, or you were preparing separately for the entrance also? Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, regarding general pediatrics, uh, I prepared exclusively for my final year university uh, examinations from uh, Nelson and most of the pediatrics question came uh, from Nelson. For uh, neonatology, I watched all your videos in uh, Maro and I prepared uh, uh, notes from for neonatology and also I added uh, uh, from the standard textbooks to your notes and uh, I also uh, had to prepare for the uh, NNF quiz program. So these notes, in addition to that, uh, have read about the recent researchers and about social pediatrics for the uh, quiz point of view also. I had a quiz teammate, so both of us used to sit and study uh, together all these uh, notes, textbooks, and recent advances and social pediatric aspects. Great. What are you following for the social pediatrics part and uh, the uh, research oriented, the statistics part? Because this is not usually covered by Nelson, Flohati, or even Ames protocol. So, what did you have use previous notes, or did you follow a textbook for these purpose? Uh, for these parts, I used assistance from my professors of neonatology. Uh, they were uh, I uh, they sent us uh, for this quiz preparation. They sent us uh, uh, many uh, uh, articles about the social pediatrics aspect pertaining to neonatology. And also, uh, what is the uh, uh, recent uh, researches and recent updates which is going on in the uh, neonatology? Okay. Statics is also the same questions were repeated. Uh, sensitivity, specificity, there was no uh, newer or complicated problem that was posed towards you. No, ma'am. It was like a basic statistics only. They did not give any advanced things. Okay. And um, um, what is there any other special tip that you would want to uh, give uh, the future aspirants who are preparing for the upcoming neonatology exams? Ah, yes, ma'am. First, uh, I would uh, 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 based on the exam pattern. Uh, so when they uh, when as during our residency, when we are posted in neonatology, we should uh, learn more of the clinical skills. Like uh, when a baby comes, uh, what uh, how we are we going to approach the baby? How are uh, how is the uh, how we are going to start feeding? How we are taking part of the respiration, ventilation. So most of the practical aspects uh, by doing, uh, we will be able to learn. And uh, these questions we will tackle accordingly. 
but uh, for uh, statistics and uh, social pediatrics uh, uh, because uh, more weightage is given for these topics uh, a separate uh, uh, preparation will be needed uh, at least uh, notes uh, regarding uh, neonatal uh, statistics related to medical uh, uh, medical statistics and uh, uh, for theory part uh, uh, by standard sources like uh, uh, marrow lectures aims protocol clohati so a uh, notes will be uh, better if we have a standard notes for the entire neonatology we can revise again and again okay um uh, apart from these uh, two textbooks clohati and uh, aims protocol and uh, of course nelson uh, was there anything else did you go take the higher textbooks like avery to prepare for your exams uh, no ma'am i took these uh, basic textbooks only along with that uh, jimmer protocols uh, i have read for my practical uh, purpose okay one another question that i keep asking aspirants is um how much time should you allocate for entrance exam preparation because lot many aspirants what they do even after finishing the post graduation they take a sabbatical of one year one and a half years they say we are going to prepare for the entrance examinations personally i feel that you uh, studied and prepared to be a doctor so you should never stop being a doctor there is uh, a take a break you can continue working and i feel that uh, keep uh, keeping on working will actually improve your knowledge level and uh, remove the uh, uh, monotonicity in preparation for examinations what do you feel that is uh, preparing for an entrance examination so labor intensive should people stop doing everything else and focus on the exams alone or do you think work and reading can go hand by hand uh, i feel that work and reading can go uh, hand in hand ma'am uh, because during my uh, inis preparation i took a break uh, and i was preparing exclusively but during that time i felt uh, uh, very stressful i was not able to uh, focus on my uh, studies well but uh, uh, during my uh, inis preparation i was doing my residency every day i am uh, i was spending uh, a good amount of time in studying uh, during my uh, residency itself so i felt uh, uh, i was having a balance i was not getting too burn out from uh, uh, the uh, reading part but it depends on the individual also if uh, uh, their work is too much uh, demanding uh, they are not able to uh, focus on the uh, studies because of the their duties uh, so it depends on the individual also okay great and uh, one more thing uh, i want you to be a critic now uh, looking into the questions paper the type of preparation that the system is pushing you through uh, you think that preparing for an entrance exam itself prepares you to be a better neonatology or this is just a theoretical part that we have to go through are the questions worthy enough uh, for choosing the neonatology of the future what is how do you think the questions are framed uh, we have to know a basics uh, theory to become a, a good neonatologist so the uh, basic foundation uh, uh, this preparation will help but uh, uh, this uh, preparation alone will not make a better neonatologist we have to build upon on this uh, foundation to develop our skills by uh, practice this is what i feel okay thank you dr praveen anything that you want to add to the viewers in addition to this anything that you experienced in the last 3 years when you were giving the exams when you were giving the viva voice something that you felt from your colleagues or something that you want uh, you learned on the in the journey and you want to share with the viewers uh, yes ma'am like when i prepared for uh, this neonatology entrance i felt there are different protocols different guidelines uh so is there is no one standard thing so i feel we should take a, a source and trust the source uh, if we keep on referring to uh, different textbook different articles we will get uh, uh, many controversies so we should stick to a, a standard uh, 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 source of uh, reading and if there is any controversy we should not uh, bother about that much this is what i felt that is great because when i talked to you the uh, all these uh, candidates who have made through i'm also learning newer points there was one candidate last year who told me like uh, the questions are, uh, in any uh, clinical pathway there will be one deviation one point will make a different decision so questions are made from to know whether you know for example nec stage 3 the management changes so the question will be from stage 2 to stage 3 and you have given a very valid point that we shouldn't confuse ourselves like i used to do it uh, aim says this pta says this nelson says this clohati says this and at the end in the exam i'll be confused who said what so uh, you should trust your source you should uh, stick to one source and you should trust it and you should read it 
and i think uh, you have succeeded so many a times you it, it will turn out right only probably one or two questions there might be controversy but remaining questions generally you will be getting it right that's a great point to uh, uh, share with the future aspirants uh, thank you dr pravin i think uh, we had been holding up you for a long time sorry for the delay but uh, thank you for sharing your experiences and um, in another three years you will be my colleague and uh, let's meet up in conferences and everywhere uh, it's a pleasure to meet the future generation uh, thank you it's a pleasure to meet you uh, thank you thank you